is up guys it's your girl Reese. welcome back to my space today we are doing a what I wore this week video on Friday I posted a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see this video or a fall must-have shoes video and you guys really voted 50 50 so I had to pick at the end so I picked this one because my outfits this week were personally I thought they were popping so I thought I would share them with you guys starting with this one right here now this top let's start at the top because this is you know a gem of a find for my wardrobe this top right here is by kate it is stunning stunning girl it is very feminine and girly for me for my taste like if you guys can see it has the silk material it has the puff sleeves all the like pleats and stuff are extremely feminine it even has like a beautiful mesh back here just Stunning. I love it so much. When I first bought this top, I was really unsure of how I was going to style it. Really and truly, I was humming and hawing over this top and like the dress version. And a part of me wishes I bought the dress too. Soon. My day is on my wish list. I will buy it eventually. But I bought the top because I was like, oh, you can wear it like different ways. I had a hard time styling it. So I went to the premiere of one of Daryl's short films uh, this past week and I wore this top with um, to, to style more dressy so I wore it with black pants that kind of went like super wide leg out and they ended at kind of like right here you know so it had kind of like a, I don't I don't know what you call that a lot of ankle to show and I wore a high stiletto it was very elegant the look was very elegant but then I came home and I was like hey I love this top so much but I want to wear it cash so I decided to throw on my wide leg jeans you know not as wide as the black pants but I feel like this gets the job done. You know, this is still like evening attire. I think like I wouldn't wear this during the day. Actually, maybe I would wear it during the day. You know, if I run some errands. I feel like the jeans really give it a casual look to it, even though this is so, so dressy up top. And then of course, not too casual, because it's me. I throw on some heels. I'm wearing some Balenciaga mules. So a little short guy. Short guy. So, you know, it's like cool, comfortable, but also like, Feminine and flirty. A combination of all of those things. There's too much going on. Way too much going on. But I love this top. I love this look. It is a vibe. A vibe. All right, week number two. This is something I wore to go meet somebody for coffee. I was already wearing this hoodie at home. This is a Essentials hoodie, Fear of God Essentials hoodie. And Lord, if you guys don't know Fear of God Essentials, you guys need to get on that because Jerry Lorenzo killing the game. Killing the game. Honestly, I need all of the Fear of God stuff, all of it. Anyways, I was wearing this at home already, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not trying to get too, too dressed up, so I put on my jeans. I'm still wearing the same jeans as before, wearing my Prada loafers, the lug loafers. We love them so much. And then I threw on this blazer, and I just love this vibe so much, so much. And then I was like, okay, cool. We're going for cool today. So I threw on my fanny pack. You know, I haven't taken this baby out since the summertime. I feel like in the summertime, I'm more like I need my hands a lot more when I'm outside. So I'm always wearing my fanny pack. But for the fall winter, I don't mind wearing the big bags. But I was like, I like this a lot, a lot. So this, this was a vibe. And now, like I said, my jeans are extremely tight because they're new, Lord. And they need some real breaking in. Like these Zara pants jeans, these Zara jeans. Lord, they are true to size, true to size, not a millimeter more or less. I've been in here in these jeans, like trying to stretch them out, just, you know, squatting, doing the most, like stretching, trying to get them to stretch. Cause I know jeans do stretch. They're just not stretching fast enough, but yeah, girl. Lord, these are it. This is a vibe. And then when I came home from my coffee, I had to go do groceries. So a little movie magic here. I kept most of the outfit the same, but I changed these pants because they're so tight to these sweatpants. So these are the essential sweatpants. They're also same brand as the hoodie. They're in a slightly different color because I feel like every season they do a variation of the color before. So it's not exact, but whatever. I can't kill myself over a small, small discrepancy. So yeah, I love a sweatsuit look. I kept the Prada shoes because I'm me, a little bouge at Costco, you know? And then I threw my fanny pack over my shoulder 
And this gave the blazer more of a jacket look than a actual blazer look. And I just like it. I love this look for like airport. Of course for the airport I wouldn't wear these shoes, I would wear sneakers, but this, this was my, I'm going to the grocery store after my coffee, still in my Prada's. It's like giving me Omarion. <laughs> okay, this one is definitely a favorite of mine. This week we went on a date and you know me, I like to be extra. So of course I was wearing an all cream colored outfit. This really might look white on camera, but it is a cream color. Girl. And I paired it with this adorable little sequined pouch. It was to celebrate Daryl's second short film premiere. So, you know, I took him for a nice little dinner at a little wine bar. It was very cute. And I feel like my outfit really worked with it. So here I am wearing this Dion Lee top situation. It's like a knit top. It's just, ah, to die. Can you guys see these details? Please take this in. I love it. Like all the slits, you don't have to put your finger in there. You can just let it live. But I like to stretch it all the way out. Um, it's two pieces, so I wore it, if you guys notice, one strap under and one strap over the top sweater sleeve fit. And then I paired it with these trousers, which I've had forever. You guys have seen this, these trousers on my channel a hundred million times, but the, they're the perfect color. They match perfectly. This is just... just ugh. Ugh. And I feel like this look can be recycled in the winter. Definitely going to be recycled. I love it so much. It is way too cute. Too friggin' cute. All right, next up is this really cute, colorful outfit. I love this so much. It's Sunday, you guys, so I'm actually wearing this out with my friends for brunch today. I am an outfit repeater. I tried on this outfit when the top came because I was so excited to put it all together. I went out and took pictures and posted it on Instagram already. So follow me on Instagram, you know. Instagram sometimes sees it first, but yeah, I wore it, I'm wearing it out today to have brunch with my girlfriend. And if you guys watched my previous videos for wearable fall trends, this is me listening to myself. I said colors and I said patterns and here I am wearing colors and patterns. Girl, we love to see it. I find that I'm buying a lot of new denim because a lot of the denim that I have in my wardrobe is skinny and that sadly is no longer super in style and I'm not super comfortable in skinny so I'm buying a lot more of like these wider wider guys so these are the margella denim slit slash side slash denim pants jeans that i have been coveting for some years now but i finally pulled the trigger because there was a sale at essence until today so i'm very excited i have these these are going to get a lot of wear you're going to see these a lot i'm not going to lie i love them i'll also post some dupes that I found online for much cheaper in the comment section below but like this whole look is a vibe and then of course cherry on top the Amina Mawadis we cannot we love them we love you Amina honestly I need these shoes in every single color and then I paired it with my cute little Bottega Jody bag I wish I had this in a fun color I feel like yellow or something would have really red would have really made this outfit next level but we love this still we love it. We love it. Okay, next up is this cute little cozy outfit here. This is what I wore to go see Shang-Chi. I finally went to the movie theaters to go support my Asian superhero and it was pretty good. And so, you know, I had to keep it comfy and cash. This cute little set here is from Brunette the Label. It was gifted to me and it's super soft. I actually have a couple of their sweatshirts that I bought previously and they're just super thick, good quality and warm. So I was really excited when they sent me more sweats and like, honestly, I have way more sweats than I'm proud to admit, but whatever. Anyways, I paired it with my shacket. This is the Isabel Marat shacket from last year. Y'all have seen it before. It is one of my favorites in my closet. I love it. And then so, surprisingly, I had shoes that matched my fit, matched my uh, sweatsuit. These are from M. Jimmy. They're like weave running shoes. I don't know, not running shoes, sneakers. I don't know. Yeah. A little casual look and I'm not sure if YouTube has seen, but uh, your girl got her Fendi first. So uh, I threw it over my shoulder. I got the medium size, which fits snacks for the movies. Just in case you were wondering, it does from experience 
from experience. So yes, this was my movie going outfit this week. I feel like I did a lot this week. <laughs> but we love it, right? This is cozy, cozy queen vibes. All right, last but certainly not least, this stunner of a coach right here. This is what I wore to work one of the days of last week and underneath super simple I'm just wearing pants in the same color as boots for continuity and then I was wearing a button-up shirt oversized button-up shirt I was just in the office doing administrative stuff so I wasn't going out of my way to dress to the nines for work but this coat you guys you guys this coat this is just I have no bad words about this this is a stunner of a coat the price point is fabulous it is absolutely amazing this is by ronnie what is it kobo yes it is by ronnie kobo so cute it comes also in the beige and black and i opted for the beige and white because i don't know why i wanted to make my life more difficult i feel like beige and black would have been easily styled this is a little bit more difficult but you guys it's just stunning it is oversized so this is a size small that i'm wearing and it's pretty solid on me it still gives the oversized vibe on me i am five foot eight just short of that so i'm pretty tall and it's two-toned all the way through it's very heavy very warm in it i love it so much and i paired it with my fendi bag and these paris texas boots which just go perfectly but honestly this is something i'm going to be throwing on top of like a denim look like just everything i love it so much it's so unique just 10 out of 10 for me 10 out of 10 okay okay anyways that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed my outfits this week let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and i will see you guys in the next video where we talk about all the shoes that we need this season bye guys